Today we're showing arena players that there are repercussions if they choose to play creatures with mono red leyline control. All right, so here is our repercussions deck and <laughs> I'm super excited for this deck because the concept of this deck I find to be incredibly funny. So we are built around Repercussions, this super old card that just came to Arena for the first time as an Enchanted Tale. So it's a three mana enchantment that says, when a creature has dealt damage, Repercussions deals that much damage to the creature's controller. So the idea of our deck is we are playing literally zero creatures. So Repercussions can never hurt us because we don't have any creatures to be damaged. And we're hoping that our opponent is playing creatures. And if they do play creatures, there will be Repercussions questions for playing those creatures. The most hilarious part of this deck though is if our opponent wants to beat us, all they really need to do is choose not to play creatures. We do have like one backup plan that can work in the really super late game if we run into a control deck or whatever. But in general, if we run into a creature deck and our opponent's just like, you know what? I will not play anything this game they probably win because we can't give them any repercussions if they choose not to play any creatures. So that's the plan of the deck. We play repercussion and then we deal a ton of damage to our opponent's creatures. We have a ton of mass damage sweepers. Spiteful banditry can deal a ton of damage and it makes treasures burn down the house five to everything. So if our opponent has four creatures and we have a repercussion, that's five times four equals 20 opponent dead. Star of extinction, our opponent only needs a single creature. If we have repercussion on the battlefield, we star, we hit the creature for 20, 20 goes to our opponent's face with repercussion. So that's the main goal of the deck. We also have a bunch of card draw. The one ring obviously just busted and we need to draw cards. Virtue of Courage, really sneaky card draw in this deck. It gives us some early game removal with its Bone Crusher Giant Bad Shock mode, but then we can play it as an enchantment in the late game. And as we're repercussioning, we're also able to exile a bunch of cards, play in this turn, find our combo pieces, close out the game. So you're probably thinking, all right, this plan is cool, but look at these cards. Aren't they all really expensive? And that is true, but we have a really sneaky way to make a bunch of mana in this deck. We're actually a ley line deck. We're mono red ley line control. We're playing ley line of lightning and ley line of combustion. We just got the second red ley line on Magic Arena. So the idea is we're hoping to have eh, two or three ley lines in our opening hand, and then we can drop Nick those. The ley lines may or may not actually do anything relevant in our deck. Ley line combustion is good if we get like thought seized are targeted. Leyline and Lightning, it does have an important role that we'll talk about in a minute. But ideally, these cards are ramp effects. We put a couple Ley Lines into play, we play Nykthos, all of a sudden we're making a ton of mana, dropping our repercussions, Star of Extinction, closing out the game. I mentioned the backup plan. So what happens if our opponent actually does decide to just not play Creatures, period? What is our plan for that? Our plan is incredibly janky, but it's Leyline of Lightning plus Fiery Emancipation. So Leyline of Lightning is in our deck to be ramp, as we just talked about, with Nykthos, but its ability is when we play a spell, we can pay one, and it deals one damage to target player. Flaring Emancipation just triples up our damage, so our hope is, if we run into that control deck that plays zero creatures, or if our opponent realizes we're trying to give them repercussions for playing creatures, and decides just not to play any, we stick a light line of lightning, we find a fiery Emancipation, and then every spell we cast, we can pay one mana and essentially lightning bolt our opponent's face, or lava spike our opponent's face, so that's the plan if our opponent chooses is not to play any creatures. As far as the sideboard, a bunch of removal customization, Pithy Needle for Planeswalkers, and we could name the One Ring, although it's kind of annoying because we want our One Rings. Chandra, more card advantage for control matchups. And that is Repercussions for Historic. That's our deck for today. So let's jump into some games and see if we can hand out some repercussions to arena players for playing creatures. And let's see what people do. I'm very curious if anyone figures out the hack to beating this deck, which is essentially don't play creatures. If you don't play any creatures, there's no repercussions. You'll probably beat us. If you do play a creature, there will be repercussions, but that's kind of your fault because you played the creatures. So let's jump into some games and see how it goes. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Need some magic cards? Well, you can snag them from our sponsor card kingdom over at cardkingdom.com slash mtg goldfish we are playing some mono red ley line control trying to uh show our opponents that there are repercussions for playing creatures in uh in historic this hand could really use a nykthos nykthos would be spectacular we have two ley lines which means if we draw nykthos our mana is going to be pretty good Opponent, Blossoming Sands. Oh, there's a One Ring, okay. 
Okay, lands? Preferably nick those, but we'll take any land at this point. Opponent planes. Prosperous innkeeper. Mm-hmm. Opponent passes. All right, that's neither a land nor a nick those. And another prosperous innkeeper. Well, okay, I guess our opponent gets to gain all the life. Yeah. We got to save our virtue of courage for a combo piece, I think. All right, also not a land. Okay, okay, where's where's our lands? Where's our lands? We could use a few more. Opponent, forest. Collected company would be bad here. All right, collected company, essentially. Voice of the Blessed Scurryokeliad. Well, we will kill the Scurryoke. Unfortunately, though, if we don't draw Nykthos, we're just going to die. Because our opponent's team is going to get absolutely massive here. If we draw Nykthos, we have a chance. Because we have the repercussion in hand. And we have ways to damage our opponent's stuff. Yeah, 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 opponent. Huge board. But we have, essentially, we need to draw Nykthos. Opponent, will you just do your thing? All right, opponent. Uh, that is not a Nykthos, and we will scoop it up. One of the things about playing this game called Magic is, uh, you do need lands. If you don't draw lands, it goes poorly. So we're going to cut some Fiery Emancipations, a burn down the house, a burn down the house, and maybe we go all the Emancipations, run it like that. So this deck really wants Ley Lines and Nykthos. One without the other, not as good. All right, this will keep. We have one ley line in Nick, though. We have a one ring to draw some cards. We do have a couple sweepers if we can get to them. No repercussion, though, unfortunately. That's the that's the biggest thing we're missing at the moment is a repercussion. Opponent. Tap land. Um, I think we actually just spiteful banditry for zero because this lets us one ring next turn. Opponent. Soul Borden, yep, and a tap land. Well, play the Nick, though, play the One Ring. Hopefully the One Ring can find us a repercussion. If we find a repercussion, we have the Star of Extinction in hand. Like, it's gonna be good. Well, let's draw a card. That's a Ley Line. Sure. Gets in for one. I mean, we can kill these two things, I think. Four, five. Burn down the house. Well, let's one ring draw. Yeah, I think we just have to make mana. Yeah, no repercussion yet, but we can burn down the house to reset the board. <laughs> Still, the ley line of lightning in the late game. In the late game, it'll do things. Yeah, you can see how much differently things go when we have the Nick those Skyclave Apparition. Yeah, hits the One Ring, sure. Leyline of Lightning. Well, let's one, two, let's make some red mana. And decline. Play a mountain past the turn. So I think what we need to do is get down the Virtue of Courage to start running cards with this Leyline. All right, let's... Kill the Skyclave. I swear these Ley Lines. They're for mana, but sooner or later they will deal damage. We get a treasure. Opponent passes. Well, play the Virtue of Courage. Uh, decline. Decline. Play the Land. Ley Line of Lightning. Number three. Decline, decline, hit you for four. Okay, next turn, the Virtue is going to start drawing his cards with this Ley Line. We're in pretty good shape here, really. Opponent, Temple Garden untapped. Passes. Torch the tower, no bargain. Ping ya, ping ya. Now we're going to start paying so we can draw cards. Ping ya. Exile. Yes, please. Ping ya. Exile. Yes, please. Yeah, we'll go one more. Ping ya. Exile. So play the mountain. Make a bunch of Nykthos mana. 
paying ya, paying ya, paying ya. Now the ley lines are, are paying off. They're finally paying off. Hit ya. Hit ya. Uh, now we'll decline, I think. So we get protection. Queen Spiteful Banditry, X0. Decline, decline, decline. Valakut Awakening. To draw some cards. I mean, this is a pretty wild start. Get rid of the Shatter Skull Smashing. Wow, another Nykthos. There's the Coco. I mean, we're not gonna die this turn. Even if our opponent goes infinite, we're not gonna die. An infinite on arena is not infinite, infinite. Cause our deck can deal a lot of damage. All right, we'll pass the turn. See what our opponent can do. Untaps. So we should get to draw three with the one ring. We still need a repercussion. That's what we're missing here. Yep. Scurry oak, okay. Yup. So opponent's gonna go infinite, but infinite is not good for our opponent because we have whatever number of creatures our opponent makes, we can deal that amount of damage X20 thanks to repercussion. <laughs> so we can't die this turn and we actually literally do not, like infinite does not beat us, which is hilarious. Because for every creature our opponent makes, we get to deal that much damage, plus, 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 plus. We would like to find the repercussion. So yes, opponent's gonna do their thing. Sure, 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 make a bunch of squirrels. All right, we get to, we get to take a little break. <laughs> this is gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get a drink, check on Bear. <laughs> uh, opponent. How's it going over there, friend? How's it going? Most of the time, I mean, in the camp of if your opponent goes infinite, just scoop to it. But hilariously, one of the upsides of this deck is it. we just don't care. Infinite creature combos are not actually, infinite creature, infinite life combos are not actually, uh, not actually good against us. Our opponent is doing this in a weird way. Shouldn't they be growing this? Like, why is this Trellisara not triggering? I do not know what's going on. Shouldn't they be getting way more triggers? I'm so confused. Oh, I see. They don't actually, oh no, they have the Innkeeper. So Innkeeper should trigger Heliod and Trellisara. Why are we only seeing Scurry Oak triggers? I feel like our opponent's doing something super weird. I mean, we literally can't die because of the one ring. And then we have the start of extinction. All right, here comes the Heliod triggers. Oh, if we draw repercussion, it'll be so hilarious. We're gonna have a ton of mana. I mean, I guess as long as we draw something, we can draw a bunch with ley line. So our odds of finding repercussion are pretty high. And then we get <laughs> the most spectacular repercussion kill. Yeah, opponent doing their thing, doing their thing. If we don't get the repercussion kill, things might be sketchy because their creatures are gonna be really big, big enough that we probably can't stop them. So we really are counting on comboing enough to find the repercussion. Yep. But I mean, we're gonna have at least 20, um, 30 mana-ish at a minimum with double nick those. Yeah, opponent resolving. Here comes all the Heliod triggers. Huh. How did they manage to stack it in the way they did? This would be the, the best repercussion of all time. Opponent. All right. Looks like our opponent's going to resolve the stack now, hopefully. I guess it's also possible. So repercussion wins us the game. Another one ring lets us run it back. Well, considering our opponent just went super infinite, I feel like we're in surprisingly good shape here. All right, opponent, scries, top, top. It's gotta be what, Coco, you would leave on top? All right, so opponent does all their stuff. Attacking doesn't matter because of the one ring, so we get to draw with the one ring. Brotherhood end. 
another Nick though. So I'll draw with the one ring. None of this actually does it. So we will torch the tower on a squirrel. Ping ya, ping ya, ping ya. Pay the one. Yes, draw a card. Nykthos, pay the one. Yes, draw a card. Well, there's a one ring. Pay the one. Yes, draw a card. We'd w rather just find repercussion and win. So let's make some mana. Play Ley Line of Combustion. Ping ya. Draw. Come on, repercussion. <laughs> we want to show that there's repercussions for comboing. All right, ping ya, ping ya, ping ya. Draw, draw, draw. Well, let's play a second Nykthos. Make a bunch of mana. I mean, this gives us a ton more looks. I don't think we lay line this time. So one, two, three, four to the bottom. We'll keep the Nykthos for next turn because there is a next turn of, oh, there's a repercussion. Okay, we found it. We found it, we found it. So now we play repercussion. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. So good. Decline, decline, decline. Get down a repercussion. And then uh, starve, it, starve extinction. Ping ya, ping ya. And uh, this is a tiny bit of damage. 20 damage to everything. And that should do it. <laughs> The repercussion beating the infinite combo. Like I said, no matter how many, no matter how many bodies our opponent makes, it doesn't really matter because the combo is gonna kill him either way. I mean, that's that's an example of what we want to do. That is that is exactly the lane line repercussion kill. Virtue of courage, pretty good in this deck too. I really like virtue. Virtue with lane line is sweet. How's the hand looking? Do we have Nykthos and lane lines, please? Ooh. All right, I mean, we're gonna keep this. It's a little sketch, no ley lines, which means ley lines are gonna be bad draws. Triple Virtue of Courage is something though. We'll see if it's just too slow on the draw. All right, there's the, there's the Valakid Awakening. Opponent Forest and Prosperous Inkeeper. Ooh. Opponent's off to a fast start, a scarily fast start. Hits us for one. Yeah, there's the classic Classic turn two ley line. That is the downside to playing a bunch of ley lines, opponent. And, okay. So we're gonna let them gain the life. They could use the treasures to like play a Trellisar or something. Goes attacking. Well, let's kill a Soul Warden. Dropped 18. Playing Nykthos. And yeah, I think we just gotta pass. Would love to draw one more land. That would be the best. Kyla's Reconstruction. Yeah, I think we just let this go and see what our opponent hits. We could kill the Innkeepers, but I think we'd rather see what combo pieces our opponent hits first. Voice of the Blessed Scurry Oak. Okay. So this works, because we get to... Virtue of Courage. Kill the Voice of the Blessed. Torch the Tower. Kill the Scurry Oak. So opponent gets to gain a bunch of life, but we're not dead. Can we draw land for the one ring? That would be the best. No, ooh, all right. Spiteful Banditry is actually sweet though. That's gonna clean up the innkeepers and get us a treasure for next turn and get red mana symbols on the battlefield. Opponent, planes, passes. Yeah, I think we one ring. Draw with the one ring, see if we can hit a land. We would actually love a land. All right, there's a mountain. Play the mountain past the turn. All right, all right, all right. Do you also have a Coco? They do. How good is it? I mean, the right Coco hit could still beat us here. Oh, just a Trellisar, okay. Well, that does not just beat us, so that's good news. Skyclave, gonna go after the one ring. All right, all right, sure. I mean, we wanted the card draw, but that's fine. Trellisara hits us for zero. Well, one, two. Embereth Blaze Trellisara, which will make us a treasure. And then we can use the treasure to play Repercussion, which will finally turn on the Nykthos. Gets in for two. 
and a scurry oak. Well, one, two, make some mana, burn down the house. Get a treasure, hit you for 10 with repercussion. Back down to 17, passes. Virtue of courage. Little read about another Coco. Wow, they actually drew another Coco. Whew, all right. Opponent's definitely hitting a lot of Cocos. I will give them credit for that. They need a pretty specific hit to go infinite. Okay, that does not go infinite yet, at least. So if they do have Scurry Oak and go infinite, we can do the same thing. Voice of the Blessed. Yeah, the reason to leave back the token is in case our opponent can make an infinitely big creature. Well, play the land. Actually, let's go to combat. Opponent takes it. Well, all right, here we go. One, two, six, seven. Star of Extinction? GG. Repercussion. There are repercussions for going infinite against us. <laughs> it worked. It worked, it worked, it worked. Taking down the infinite combo deck in a pretty hilarious way. Uh, repercussion. Seems kind of good. Sweet, sweet. We are trying to uh, show our opponents that there are repercussions for... Well, sand is sweet. That there are repercussions for playing creatures on Magic Arena. <laughs> I like this end. We start with one ley line. We have a Nykthos. Repercussion can up our devotion. And if we can get to this fire emancipation, Elvish Mystic, okay. Well, land go. Opponent, untap land. And oh my God, this is like, as long as we live long enough, this is like the dream matchup. We do need a sweeper. Well, play Nykthos, play Repercussion. Oh, come on, deck. Any sweeper for the win. We are on a clock, though, with this Elvis Shepherd and the War Master opponent land. Coco, oh god. Oh, we might be too. Oh! Okay, just uh, just a land of War Elves. Opponent goes attacking. Come on, deck. Well, uh, that does keep us from dying. I think we hold on to the Nykthos, right? Yeah, let's just play the One Ring so we don't die. Not dying sounds good. Play a mountain. So we can draw some cards. We just need to hit literally any sweeper. And we hand out a lot of repercussions to these elves. Opponent tap land. Nisa. Okay. It changes things in the sense that we are definitely dead if we don't draw something. Attacks. Well, we'll draw a card. Mountain is not what we are looking for. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. We take one. Okay, another one ring means we don't die. Draw some cards. I think that's enough. I wish we could get down the Fire Emancipation. All right, so make red mana. Play another Nykthos. Make red mana. Spiteful Banditry. Oh, we, this is way enough. X5. And uh, Elves. We have some repercussions for you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> this deck is so bad, but it's so brutally punishing for creature decks. <laughs> it's like the the best worst deck we've played in a while. Like it's it's so jank. It's so jank. Mono red leyline control. It's like such a jank idea, but it's so funny. I don't even know if we need Star of Extinction this matchup, honestly. Like, our opponent's going so wide that they're always gonna have enough creatures. We probably don't even need the Fiery Emancipation. It's like, this is the matchup where they're just always gonna have a ton of creatures. So Repercussion, we don't need to help power it up. Like, it's it's gonna be good enough. It's gonna be good enough against the elves. Yeah, you shouldn't have played any elves, opponent. That's that's on you. I really wanna play a game against someone who, like, loses like that in game one. It would be so funny if our opponent just refused to play an elf. Like, they're an elf deck that's the most creature-heavy deck. It's a Coco deck. Their deck is, like, literally all creatures. It would be so funny if they're just like, nope, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Sideboard in a few extra cards and just nope out of playing creatures. It would actually, like, I guess we'd eventually get them with the ley line, probably. It it would actually like totally diminish our game plan if they did that. Oh, and it would be so, so like 4D chess, like next level game. Do we just, do we repercussion our opponent right off of arena? Or are they just done? Too many repercussions. Only one land. I think we just mulligan. Again, only one land. Okay. 
Well, this will keep. Ley line to the bottom. Burn down the house to the bottom. This hand is scary. The elves might get their revenge here. We do have a virtue to kill something. There's a repercussion. That's actually not bad. Uh, opponent, another mystic. And gets in for one. Oh, all right. Well, in that case, we're just going to kill an elf. If our opponent's missing lands, that means they probably shouldn't be able to do anything too busted here unless they top deck. Wildborn Preserver. Well, uh, all right. There's some repercussions for you, opponent. The repercussions are coming, and we have the one ring to draw cards. Allosaurus Shepherd. Are we growing it? You don't see Wildborn Preserver that much. I remember thinking this card would be good when it was printed, and it just never really worked out. Well, Nykthos and play the one ring. See if we can draw into Burn Down the House. All right, Burn Down the House should be lethal if we top deck it. I think we probably have two turns because we're not taking any damage this turn. All right, opponent attacks. We draw a ley line. We take zero. Ouch, down to 15. We draw Virtue. Well, don't draw with the one ring. So I think we one, two, Molten Impact, Elvish Mystic. Repercussion you. Emberith Blaze, Elvish Mystic. And hit the Allosaurus Shepherd. Repercussion you. Play the land past the turn. Opponent's on a one land. Oh, okay, you're on another land. Another Allosaurus Shepherd. Opponent's at 11. Can we find a way to close this out? They do have a clock. Like, we are taking five. We could just die to the. Wildborn beats, Molten Impact. We need something more than that. One ring, draw some cards. Oh, there we go. That's a burn down the house. Uh, burn down the house? There will be some repercussions. All right, opponent's at one. All right, opponent. All you gotta do is not play any more creatures. That's, that's your, ch oh, opponent, no. No, there's gonna be repercussions for that, opponent. <sighs> You gotta not play creatures. That's the whole. That's the whole gimmick. <laughs> All right, opponent. Yes, they they did not learn about the repercussions. <laughs> and we got. <laughs> I mean, I kind of memeing because there's no no realistic way our opponent could not play creatures and win. But if they could somehow, that there would be no repercussions. So yeah, yeah, shouldn't have played that arch druid. And, I mean, we'll keep this. Zerta, A, eh? that's spicy. Do not see many Zerta companion decks. I am very curious. Could be like Agatha, I guess? Soul Cauldron seems good with Zerta. We got the one ring, got some removals. No repercussion yet, but uh, hopefully we find it. The funny thing about our deck is if you just don't play any creatures, you pretty much beat it. I mean, that's not exactly true. In theory, eventually we win with Leyline of Lightning, but like, Really, you pretty much just like stop our plan by not doing anything. So it's kind of a, a deck that uh, to some extent is you did it to yourself. Like uh, there's repercussions for playing creatures. So if you just choose not to play creatures, there's no repercussions because our repercussions <laughs> don't do anything if you don't play any creatures. So uh, hard to feel too bad for uh, opponents. Like if you just choose not to not to play creatures, you you win. They don't know that that's the choice. So it's hard to make that choice when you don't know that that's what's going on. But in theory, that uh, that does take care of it. Opponent runs out the clock on mulligans. We start with a ley line and a Valakut Awakening past the turn. Opponent, copper line, Georg, and delighted halfling. Well, Valakut Awakening number two, go. Opponent, copper line, George, and Minskin Boo. That's a fast start. We get hamstered. Well, there's a mountain, and I think we actually just, this is awkward, but I think we spiteful banditry here. All it's gonna do is kill the hamster, but we get a treasure, which guarantees that we get to burn down the house if we need it. If we don't need it, then we can one ring. Opponent, Dumri, ticks up and gets in for three and plays a land. Well, we'll play the land. How greedy is it to wait? I think it's fine. Well, let's play the one ring. We're not gonna sack our treasure though. So this gives our opponent one more turn of playing stuff before we burn down the house. We still get to kill the Domri because it's only at five. 
All right, well, now we get to kill a Minskin Boo, too. Oh, yeah, wow, this is gonna be a very nice burn down the house. Opponent. Yeah, it's this burn down the house is gonna get literally everything. All right, one ring, draw. Starve extinction. Take a bit of damage. One ring, can we draw land? Well, apparently not. Well, burn down the house, five damage. Each creature, each planeswalker. So board is swept, we get a treasure. We are taking one ring damage, which is awkward. And we somehow drew four cards and missed a land last turn, which was really awkward. Still no repercussion. I mean, they can just fire up the bivouac and hit us if they want to. We are tapped down, eh, we do have one mana. Trognar, oh, maybe this is. All right, there's an Ag Agatha and a Trognar and a land. Well, we take some damage. The one ring. Well, there's all of our lands. So let's. Play a land, burn down the house, sweep the board again, make a treasure. Pass the turn, discard a Valakut Awakening. I mean, there is some risk of dying to the One Ring. Opponent, untap land, Agatha's Soul Cauldron, sure. And a Bivouac. Going to attack and put a counter on it. Yeah, that's fine. We can try to Virtue of Courage, but then they can just Soul Cauldron, so it doesn't actually work. So we drop to nine. We kind of need to hit a One Ring here. Or we might actually die to our own One Ring, because we drop to six. Ley Line. Well, we're going to draw. One Ring. One Ring. Please, please. <laughs> please, please, please. Oh, no one ring. Okay. Also, no Nykthos. That is not great. We can burn down the house for tokens. Is there anything... Burn down the house for tokens might be the best bet, and then we drop to two? The other option is Valakut Awakening. Literally everything to find a one ring, and if we whiff, we die. Yeah, we're gonna Valakut Awakening. The odds of whiffing here are so low. Like, we get to see so many cards. That our odds of whiffing are basically non-existent. Like, there's no way, right? There's no way. So we put everything to the bottom. We see 11 new cards. And there's no one ring. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we should have went the other, <laughs> other direction. Well, I guess that was technically a greedy line. <laughs> what are the chances? That is... That is interesting. Was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> I mean, yes, I guess technically we were being a little greedy. Mathematically, it was fine, right? Like, by the math. But I guess, so the problem with making tokens there is having creatures on the battlefield fizzles our repercussion combo. So we really want to avoid having creatures on the battlefield if possible. I mean, we're going to keep this. Failed by the MDFC. That is unfortunate. Oh, well, Valakut Awakening, go. Well, the only question about this is gonna be, do we hit our lands? Assuming we hit lands, this hand is very good. Uh, yeah, let's play this untapped. Being able to Virtue of Courage seems worth it. Opponent, copper line, George. Okay, goes attacking. Well, we will kill the Ruby. And land off the top. Well, Valkyrie Awakening, that counts. Let's play Spiteful Banditry, X0. Valakut Awakening tapped. These treasures might be important. Opponent, Copperline Gorge. And a Domri. And ticks it up. Passes. Now let's Molen Impact the Domri. Get rid of it. Play them out and pass the turn. Opponent, more rubies. And a Hajar. Now let's play a Repercussion. Boy, we could use a Nykthos. A Nykthos would go a long way here. This is gonna be close. The question is gonna be, can our opponent kill us? Karn. Can they kill us before we combo kill them? If we draw a Nykthos, I think we just go off right away. We're still one land short of casting this burn down the house, which is an issue. They can also sack the Hajar. A opponent gets a one ring, goes attacking. We draw. Do we just burn down the house here? Yeah, I think we do. Burn down the house, five damage to everything. The problem is if we don't do this, they get to one ring. 
They get to one ring and we can't damage them the next turn, so it's just too risky to not do it here. Opponent plays the one ring. We could use one of those. Opponent draws with the one ring. And delighted halfling. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just play repercussion and pass. If we can draw a way to damage these creatures, we have double repercussion. Like, another burn down the house just does it. Opponent. Minskin Boo. Makes a 4-4. Hits us. All right, this is it. This is the draw. Come on, deck. Be good. Be good. Opponent goes to 12, and it's a mountain. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh, we are trying to show uh, arena players that there are repercussions for choosing to play creatures. Yeah, we're going to keep this. One ley line, no Nykthos, but uh, we got early game removal. Ley line combustion is our normally our better ley line in the early game, and the one ring's busted. That's our card draw. Well, they might. All right, opponent. Wow. All right. Ouch. Well, I assume they take our one ring. We did kind of want that. Yeah, there goes the one ring. Well, mountain go. Black leaf glyphs and thought seizes. Well, okay. Uh, I guess we blaze your. <laughs> Opponent's gonna be at ten thanks to this ley line. Wow, they take the star. Interesting. I would have assumed they take the burn down the house because we actually cast it in a timely manner, but. Uh, mountain go. Wow, we're like one land away from doing cool things. Being able to cast these burn down the houses would be nice. Woo! All right. Uh, let's just... We're going to be a little greedy and play this Virtue of Courage. Because it works well with these devil tokens. Please don't make us discard our hand. Uh, well, I think we're going to Devil Town. And here they come. Opponent. Fatal pushes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, did our opponent kill themselves? This Virtue of Courage is doing absurd work. I think we're going to keep drawing because we want to nick those. All right, no nick those. Pang ya, pang ya. Yeah, one more, why not? All right, no nick those. Hit ya. And then Valakut Awakening tapped. About it. Would you like to kill the devil? Fires up the den of the bugbear. Wow, that was like... Yeah, let's just rub it in a little. Why win when you can win more? That was just straight up Leyline of Combustion going off. It is really good against Thought Seize effects, or at least fairly good. It, like, it hurts. It adds up. Yeah, we'll trim a little top end stuff. Bring in some early game removal. <sighs> Do we need a pithy needle in a new... Actually, they're probably playing Shieldred, so maybe we should be sideboarding to kill Shieldred. Trim, trim. Yeah, let's just run it like that. The problem with Pithy Needle to answer the one ring is we also want our one ring. All right, let's 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 start with a ley line of combustion. Apparently that card's just unbeatable. No ley line. All of our lands get thought seized. I think we mulligan that. This hand could really use a Nykthos. Really, really. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. I mean, we are mono red ley line control. I wish we had four ley lines of combustion, but... Hey, tablet. I, I don't actually know if we win because of this, honestly. If we draw Nykthos, it's hilarious and probably pretty effective. Otherwise, you know, there's a Thought Seize. Opponent takes two. Otherwise, all these Ley Lines aren't actually doing much. Mountain Go. Croxa. Oh, gets her land. That's bad news. Well, Land Go. Gonna need a one ring, but we need another land first. Okay, there. Okay, now, now a one ring. We are hitting our lands, which is nice. Well, Molen Impact can't cast that currently. Fable of the Mia break, ah, sure. Wow, there's a Nykthos too. Well, play the Nykthos. Molen Impact the Goblin. Ping ya. Ping ya. Ping ya. <laughs> all right, past the turn. We have all the man in the world. Found it, gonna do some looting. This does mean the Crocs is probably gonna be coming back pretty soon. Discard some thought seizes, draw some cards, plays a land. There's the shield. 
Ugh. That's not what we wanted to draw at all. Somehow we have ended up flooding out. <laughs> My worry with this hand is we were going to draw enough lands after we put four ley lines into play, but. <laughs> oh, and a cruise he is. All right, we need a big draw here. We need a big draw right now or we're going to be dead. Found it. Doing Crucia stuff. Ugh. Yeah, now we're actually just dead. Okay. That was the weirdest draw I have ever seen. We drew a land every turn of that game. Go up one more Warcrafting. Run it like that. Well, I mean, we're going to keep this. We get to start with a ley line. Not the one we really want. We don't have a one ring. Gonna thought sees. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna get hit by a lot of discard. Let's see if our opponent knows to fear the repercussion. Takes the burn down the house. Oh, God. Oh, if we could get that down, we'd be so happy. Yeah, I expect it gets thought sees, but it would be sweet. Pathway. I mean, they gotta take the one ring, right? Yep, takes the one ring. Well, we'll play Nykthos and a repercussion. Pass the turn. Oh, opponent, Sulfur Springs in Crucius. Well, one, two. Make some red mana. Warcrafting the Crucius. Yeah, I mean, we're just looking for a land anyway. We can't really cast anything else, so we'll take the Valakid Awakening. Repercussion, yeah. Play the Valakid Awakening past the turn. Oh, opponent, Sulfur Springs. She old red. All right, we need a removal spell for that. Another Nykthos. Oh no. Is she old red just too strong for our shenanigans? Bang ya. Play a mountain. Well, it all comes down to this. We need some sort of big removal spell. Opponent has a one ring. Oh no. Oh no. Draws cards, gains life. Oh, we need to show Shielder that there's repercussions, but I don't know if this hand's gonna do it. Burn down the house. I mean, that does kill Shieldred. Is that the right play? Do we just kill the Shieldred? I mean, we kind of have to, right? And then we hope we draw something else. Yeah. All right. Well, kill the Shieldred. Five ya. Actually, the five ya doesn't work. Oh yeah, you still can't take damage. It doesn't target, but if you're protected, you still don't take damage. Oh, they have the one ring and we don't. That's a big problem. I think we still have to kill Shieldred. We could try to wait, but it's just so, it's so bad to let our opponent untap. Gain four, we get drained again. It's too risky. Tybalt, okay, that's kind of busted. Takes up, steals a Valakid Awakening. We draw a useless land. Well, okay. And they hit an Invoke Despair. Yeah, I think our death is coming. Invoke Despair. Opponent takes two. Lightning. Opponent, Den of the Bugbear. Takes up Tibalt. Steals our Chandra that would actually been pretty good. We draw another Repercussion. Opponent, down to five. I mean, we just die here, right? Ticks up. Valakid Awakening, Fable the Mirror Breaker. Plays our Chandra. You might as well give up Opponent. Wait, are they gonna accidentally kill themselves? Is it possible? Fable. Do we have a chance here? We just need to draw something that damages a creature. <gasps> oh, burn down the house. No, they have Fatal Push though. They have Fatal Push. Wait. What if we make devils? Are we gonna win this? My God, I think we're gonna win this. We make devils. Watch them have burn or something. So if we go five damage, they just fatal push the goblin. Cause we can see the fatal push. Yeah, I mean, I think we're going to, uh, to a devil town. Devil town. Orcish Bowmasters. Wow. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> yes! The least likely win! 
We took down the best deck in the format with repercussions. And our opponent was going off. They were going off. They had Tybalt drawing cards. They stole our Chandra. They were one ringing. And uh, in the end, Leyline of Combustion repercussions comes through. Double Nykthos is a smidge awkward, but we Invalicate Awakening. We Invalicate Awakening to get rid of one of them. About it. Duress. All right, well. Yeah, that makes sense. We do draw another one. Playing Nykthos past the turn. Passes. Well, all right, play a mountain past the turn. Feels like a Bowmaster kind of turn. No Bowmaster. Okay. Devriel. So opponent's a straight up discard deck. Valakut Awakening. Star of Extinction, Nykthos to the bottom. Draw some new cards. Discard a fiery emancipation. Okay. Uh, we can just one ring. That's a good draw. Get down the one ring. Activate it now in case there's a Bowmasters. Wow, virtues for literally days. I mean, one ring's gonna undo a lot of our opponent's work here, I think. All right, they can blow up the Nykthos. Not that the Nykthos was actually doing anything yet. Yeah. All right, Nykthos down. We will grab a mountain. We do need our opponent to play a creature at some point or it's gonna be hard to uh, give them the repercussions. Oh, there's a repercussion. Well, let's one ring. If they bow masters, we kill it. They do not. Oh, do we wanna show them? Yeah, we gotta get down the repercussion. Get down the repercussion. Play a land, Virtue, the Davriel. How about, how about a creature? How about a bugler rat? <laughs> I promise it'll be fine. There will be no repercussions. Opponent's gonna thought seize, sure. I mean, the one ring is gonna undo a lot of our opponent's work. They're probably playing like tiny bones at least, right? Watch our opponent actually not have any creatures. That would be the saddest. I mean, if they do that, then we win with Leyline and uh, Fire Emancipation. So we will, it will, we'll get there eventually, I think. Opponent takes a virtue. Creature. Opponent has their own one ring, sure. Well, we take a bit of damage. One ring draw. Ooh, there's a Nykthos. Play the Nykthos. Fiery Emancipation. Just play a creature, opponent. Just play a creature. <laughs> Just play a creature. How about a creature? Yeah. All right, opponent is very much playing around. They are playing around the, <laughs> the repercussion by not playing creatures. About it. We're going to need another ring at some point. We drop to 11. Star of Extinction. Now let's draw with one ring. Can we hit another one ring? All right, there's there's more one rings. So, three. Play another repercussion. One, two. Make those mana. Keep the new one. Shatter Skull is a land. I guess we draw with the one ring. Okay, Spiteful Banditry, X zero. <laughs> Just play a creature, opponent, please. You're gonna draw a bunch of cards. Can you draw into a creature? <laughs> opponent down to 15. Sadly, Fire Emancipation doesn't work with our opponent's one ring. Or we need to find a Leyline of Lightning. That's the other way we can win. Opponent gonna draw some cards. Liliana, not a creature. Ticks up. I mean, we have infinite lands we can discard here. Yep, discard. Oh, there's a, they're discarding, the, our opponent's playing around it. Our opponent's playing around it. Opponent, just haphazardly run out your creatures. Liliana's triumph, and well, we'll discard another land. Opponent passes, one ring, does its thing. Well, draw with the one ring. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play a Virtue of Courage. Up our devotion. Play a Mountain. Nykthos mana. Emberith Blaze. Play Leyline of Combustion. Another One Ring. Keep the new one. I mean, now our opponent can't target us. If they target us, we'll discard a mountain. 
One ring does its thing. Opponent down to six. Oh, what a world. Opponent, blast zone. Oh, well, that'll be a problem eventually. Well, let's draw with the one ring. There's the ley line of lightning. Okay, that's good. We'll discard a star of extinction. Oh, they have creatures. They just refuse to play them. I mean, the Leyline of Lightning should get us there with the Fiery Emancipation because we get triple damage. So Leyline, cast random stuff. I mean, our opponent might as well draw with the One Ring. They're dead in two turns either way. Our opponent's best bet is probably actually to find another One Ring. It is 2023 magic after all. Opponent passes. One Ring pings us. Well, let's draw with the One Ring. Uh, make a little red mana. Play Line of Lightning. Play another Nykthos. Make a little red mana. Repercussion. Well, our opponent refused to play any creatures. <laughs> they refused to play any creatures. So there were no repercussions, but uh, Ley Line of Lightning. Ley Line of Lightning got the job done. Opponent's playing apparently a discard deck. Ley Line of Combustion is actually really good if we can find it. Uh, Chandra in. Maybe Pithy Needle? We'll go down like a Fire Emancipation, a Star of Extinction. Are they just going to not play creatures? Have we finally... Have we finally met the opponent that'll just refuse to play creatures? I mean, if they do, then we just tip tip our hat, tip tip a hat to the opponent who managed to avoid the repercussions. I think they figured it out though. We haven't seen an opponent do that yet. It's the first opponent who like seemingly intentionally was just like, you know what? I am not gonna play a creature into that repercussion. And it uh it almost worked. Thankfully we had a one ring. Well, I mean, we're going to keep this. This hand is sweet. I wish it was the other. Well, we do need one more land, kind of, don't we? I wish it was the other ley line, because it the other ley line hits discard very well, but opponent swamp and passes. Mountain. Yeah, another red source would be sweet. Opponent swamp, passes. A Nykthos. I mean, worst case, we can legend rule the Nykthos if we have to. Opponent swamp, passes. Ah, there's a mountain. All right, play the mountain. Nykthos. Leyline of Combustion. Leyline of Combustion is actually good against Discard. So if our opponent wants to Thought Seize us or whatever, they have to take two. Field of Ruin. Well, there goes our Nykthos. Thankfully, we do have a second one. And our opponent has to take two. You know what we could use now is a one ring. Opponent pat. Oh my god, that's a one ring. Uh, so, Nykthos. Make some mana. Play Repercussion. No pinging. We want to get down the one ring, start drawing cards. And then one ring. And I kind of like where we're at. Still would like our opponent to cast a creature, but what can you, what can you do? About it. Untaps. It'll be fine. All right, well, draw with the one ring. We probably don't need three light lines of lightning. That's a lot. All right, discard a light line of lightning. Draw with the one ring. Spiteful banditry, X zero. No pinging. Play a land. Make a bunch of Nith Nykthos mana. Actually, maybe we just do this at instant speed. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just pass. Actually, we could kill the Liliana. On second thought, let's Virtue of Courage hit the Liliana, paying the Liliana. Rude. Virtue of Courage hit the Liliana. No pinging. And play a Virtue of Courage. All right. I mean, we are kind of set up to go off next turn. Our opponent would make this way easier if they played a creature so we could <laughs> repercussion them. But even if they don't, we're in a kind of sweet spot here. We're finally seeing the ley line Stone Brain. Uh-oh. Wait, what can they Stone Brain? Sure. Stone Brain. Take two. Decline. Are they going to go after Fiery Emancipation? Oh, they're going to take a ring. Okay. So opponent's on the try to kill us with the ring plan. Which could work. Well, let's draw some cards. Let's make Nykthos mana. Play Valakut Awakening. 
Ping ya. Ping ya. Draw a card. Star of Extinction, draw a card. Repercussion. Put everything back. We gotta play Fire Emancipation. Fire Emancipation. Decline, decline. Repercussion. I mean, next turn, next turn we, next turn we got him in a half. Play the tap land. All right, opponent, kill us if you can, because next turn is going to be very bad for you. Wow, opponent passes. Uh, all right, so, uh, one ring, draw a few cards. All right, there's the Bellmaster. No, opponent, that's, that's not gonna work the way you want. <laughs> Bring it, Bowmaster, bring it. <laughs> there still were repercussions. Not in the way we envisioned. Our actual repercussion didn't do anything, but uh, there were still repercussions for our opponent because uh, we had Fire Emancipation Leyline of Combustion. So our opponent targeting us for one damage with our Bowmaster ended up being six damage at their face and we impulse draw six. <laughs> this deck might not be good, but boy, is it fun. So what did we learn this week about repercussions? And overall record-wise, played a ton of matches with this deck. Went six and eight overall, which actually is six and seven, because one of the losses, Arena just like hard crashed and I couldn't get back into it and timed out. So just under a 50% win rate, which makes a lot of sense, because this is one of the highest risk, highest reward, highest variance decks I've played in a long, long time. So of course, repercussions itself, is a pretty high variance card. In some matchups, it's ridiculous. We got to see like the elves matchup is a great example. Like against elves, we play repercussions and then play like a burn down the house or brothers to dead and the game just ends because our opponent has so many creatures. Other matchups, it's really difficult to get it to do anything if our opponent's not playing many creatures. Although I will say, no one really figured out that they just could not play creatures and they probably win. I think there was one opponent, the discard deck, that really tried to avoid playing creatures, uh, but everyone else was just like running out their creatures into the repercussions and they learned that there's repercussions for playing creatures against our deck. The other way our deck is super high variance is really just the ley line plan. We got to see games where we like triple ley line Nykthos, make all the mana win the game. We also got to see games, we had that one game where we played four ley lines in our opening hand and then just drew lands the rest of the game and they did literally nothing. I think Leyline Combustion might actually be a good card though. Like taking two damage every time we get Thought Seized or to rest, really getting its Bowmasters every time our opponent wants to ping us for one, they have to take two. Leyline Combustion really impressed me. I don't know if it's like a main deck card in most decks, but I think it is certainly deserving of a look as a sideboard card at least. And then Leyline of Lightning, I think it's necessary in our deck. It's a ramp spell, and we did see the backup plan actually win a couple games. We were able to like get it down, get down a fiery emancipation, lava spike you a bunch of times if our opponent chooses not to play creatures. So all in all, <laughs> The deck is hilarious. Like, it's hilarious, it's really fun, it's super janky. As far as how competitive it is, it's definitely the middle of the scale. Like, honestly, almost getting a 50% win rate, I was pretty happy with that, considering just like, we're mono red ley line control, and if our opponent chooses not to play creatures, they kinda just beat us because they don't get any repercussions. Uh, so considering the, uh, the the issues with the deck, the jank level of the deck, winning about 50% of the time, actually a pretty good record. So anyway, that is showing arena of players that there are repercussions for playing creatures. That's been our deck for today. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon.